afternoon baseball now from the newest American League Stadium in baseball. Minute Maid Park here in Houston. Ought to be a good one here between the L.A. Dodgers and the Houston Astros. Welcome into the broadcast booth, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen here with Play by Play. I'll be joined in the booth shortly by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the fifth. Back down. Jackie Robinson will stand in for the first time here. Ready on two and one. Now a fastball driven on a line out to left. This is going to split the gap and get down for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. And this is the one thing you have to avoid when you're playing against a good hitting ball club like this. You can't let them get going early and spot them a big lead early in the ball game. They've got the first two guys on base here to start things out, and things can get out of hand quickly. So now Jeff Pulse will get the call to face them, and the key for him will almost certainly be getting ahead in the count early. We've seen in the past when he's forced to work from behind, he can run into some problems. And behind him, defense. Jeff Bagwell will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Check on Fowler. Now here it comes. Well, he extends nicely there as this is driven pretty well out to deep right field. And he's turned an 0-2 count into a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And the Astros have taken a 2 to nothing lead. about that last pitch, so he doesn't concentrate on his location. And... On its Taylor made to short, six, four, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Astros play two on the two run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now two nothing Houston. Professor will stand in now following leadoff walk, and might we see a bunt attempt here in the two-run ball game? Every extra run helps. It's a possibility, but I think they'll probably let him take his chance and swing it away. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Goes the other way with a fastball, and this is in the air out to left. Grossman over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it, running it down. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Right over the top here with the four-seam fastball. Good drive through the release turn. Just threw it right by him at the letters. Harry Potter will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. And the third inning is started with a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Dodgers are within a run. It's now 2-1. to one. And if he was guessing up there, he was guessing right because he's all over that thing like a shaggy dog. And he drives it over the wall. Wanted any part of that guy on three and one, and he winds up putting him on. Number 83. Pass 
ball, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. pitch and that's all he needed to keep the damage to a minimum and strand the bases loaded but back to the drawing board after that one that is gonna hurt swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away this is a much different situation for him on the mound after that five-run inning. All of a sudden, he's working with a lead now, and he does a good job there of getting that first. Come in now to lead things off against our starter, who probably wishes he had a mulligan to use on that last inning. Yeah, he was doing just fine up until the last time he took the mound. He's got to hope that that was just an aberration, or he might not stick around to see another inning. There's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And the fourth inning has begun with a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. seems to me like we've seen this before his second home run of the ball game and it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one so he's definitely locked in Jackie Robinson will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty now a ball lying to the right side in there a base hit Good swing there. You watch. Head stays down. Ball gets deep in the zone, and he lets those hands lead the way, and he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. Martin King will dig in. He walked and later scored. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And this will get all the way out into the bullpen in left center. It's gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center as it's now a six-run ball game. I tell you what, you hit a ball out there, you got to earn it. I, I don't think there's such a thing as a cheap home run anyway, but that's a man's home run when you leave the yard out there. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. There's our line score through the first four and a half, and these guys have basically had the bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. John Pulse will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. Keeping him close there at second, now the pitch. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. 
Well, not only is that 10 strikeouts now, but I'll tell you what, we've still got a few innings to go here. He keeps throwing the way he is. He can make that number really interesting by the time this one's through. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy out, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. I wouldn't be surprised if they buzzed him in on the next pitch. A swing and a foul tip, but held on to behind the plate, and they're going to get out of danger here as the strikeout will end the inning. Two left for the Astros. They're down by a touchdown. It's 9-2. to two. Number 69 will be the new pitcher. Number 69. Still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. 
I think that's a definite vote of confidence. But he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. You see here from above, since he's left-handed, he's got the third baseman playing well off the line. I, I don't know if this is exactly where he intended to hit the baseball, but it works out for him. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And as a baseball fan, it's fun to watch this guy pitch. As a hitter, when he's bringing it at 102, that part's not so fun. Jimmy Door will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. The right-hander deals on one and two. There's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Professor is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. This one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him.